Hi. Hello once again. Happy Lord's Day once again, everybody. It's been two weeks. I'm two weeks older than I was two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm two week. I'm 40 years old and two weeks. I'm 40 years and two weeks old. Doesn't seem possible. It's been two weeks into my 40th year, but here I am. I should be up there in Tennessee, but things just happen, and let's just go on. I'll figure something out later, and I can get back up there. Maybe it's this time to stay. Maybe next time I'll just plan to get something. Pack everything up. Have some place to have some place to take the stuff to before I go up there, and then I'll be fine. I just have to get me a. I guess I'll have to go down and get my license done. I'll have to go get a license so I can drive. I don't know about how to do a temporary, temporary license. I guess the one to give me enough to get up there and then. Have it where I could change it over. I don't know. Figure it out later. But today is Sunday, May the second. Video number three forty-two. We're gonna be talking about Son of the Living God. We we'll begin with Matthew sixteen, verse sixteen. Hope everyone has a glorious, blessed Lord's Day today. Hope everyone had a great week, a great Saturday yesterday. And looking forward to a great Sunday today and looking forward to a fresh new month since yesterday started the month of May. I hope everyone has a blessed had a blessed April and looking forward to having a joyous and blessed month of May. But son of the living God, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 16. This ringing affirmation of faith came from Peter as spoken, as spokesman, but undoubtedly was shared by all the disciples since Jesus had asked the question, Who say ye that I am? Of them all. And actually they had probably all been disciples of John the Baptist who had been directed them to Jesus and so had heard John's testimony concerning Christ's identity. John had said that Jesus was in seed, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, in John 1, verse 18. So yet, as they had been following him, they had heard him speak of himself far more often as the Son of Man. And over 30 times in the Gospel of Matthew alone, he identified himself as Son of Man not once as the Son of God. But nevertheless, he accepted Peter's statement as absolutely true, saying that the Father had so revealed it. So in fact, it is essential that one must believe it to be saved. And Jesus did say, John 3.18, But he that believeth not is condemned already, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And we all know what the two verses previous to that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe it in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's kind of one of my life verses. That's kind of one of my life verses. That's one of my the most famous memory verses that I can understand. That I can just spout off without having to look at it. You just give me the numbers and I'll say it. <laughs> and that's the way I've always said it all my life. So yet he seems he wants uh, he seems to want us to know him, especially as the Son of Man, perhaps so that we will never forget that he, though through God. Though God is also man just like us, and as man, he was in all points tested like we are, yet without sin. So he could, he could be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. 
And now, and we now can come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may attain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. So John was enabled to see Christ once again long after his return to heaven. Although he was now in his resurrection body, John still, John still saw him as one like unto the Son of Man. Revelation 1.13 And lastly, although he is indeed the Son of the living God, he is also our man in the glory. Amen? And that reminds me, talking about John, there is a song out there called John Saw. And it's done by the, I think, I think the only one I've heard it do is the Hoppers. I think it's I think it's called John Saul. I know in the in the, it says John Saul. But I don't remember the rest of it. I just remember the the the, the song and it's saying John Saul. Jerusalem. That's where that line comes out of. It's the song Jerusalem, and I've heard it done by two or three groups but the, the hoppers was the best one I ever heard sing it Jerusalem I want to walk the streets that are golden and I want to run where the angels have tried Jerusalem I want to rest on the banks of the river in that city the city of God but that's just the chorus of that song but um there's a, there's a, there's a line in there that says John saw and it talked about him seeing the city coming down so go get that version of the song and listen to it and it'll go right along with the part where it says John. Talking about John. John Saul. But there's also another one that the Hoppers did. They're talking about John Saul. I remember it's an old one. But I don't remember what the actual name of that song is. But I remember the other one. It just popped into my head. So I hope you enjoyed that little chorus of Jerusalem. But I, I'll be sure to leave a, leave a tag in it so you can... Somebody will be putting that song in and that video will pop up. <laughs> but that is all I have for your Lord's Day Daily Devo. Tomorrow, Monday, May the 3rd, we are going into video number 5 of the God Jesus is little mini videos, mini video, the video mini series. And tomorrow, for video number 343, for Monday, May the 3rd, we're going to talk about God is love. We're going to begin with 1 John 4, 16. And then again on Thursday, we're going to be talking about the sixth video, sixth and final God is video, God is triune. And then, on Monday, May the 10th, we're going to be talking about the first of the two Jesus Is videos, where Jesus is the Word, for Monday, May the 10th. And then, the eighth and final video will not be till Wednesday, May the 26th, where we talk about Jesus is the Savior. So I'm just giving you the updates on those next videos, so you'll be looking forward to when we get to those. I wish some of the time. I wish most of the time some of these were all basically right there together, so you could do them all in one run. But it's not. This was spread out. And talking about the 26th, the day after that will be my one-year anniversary. To be my one year on YouTube. 
So I'm I'm gonna probably gonna be doing that one live. So stay tuned for that. That's probably gonna be a live video. And maybe just maybe I'll be in Nashville by then. So I'm 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 thinking hopefully either by June first or maybe by June first or July first. Sometime during the summer, I'm a move. I'm, I'm moving to, um. I'm a, hopefully gonna have the money, cause I'm just put in for a couple jobs last night to work to working across the road here, and hopefully they'll come through and I can work and put back the money to save the money. Then I'll have money to move move with. So. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. God is love. So stay tuned for that. I'll be getting to that. Maybe. A few more days. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I'll be getting to that one. My Wednesday or Thursday. So. But you'll see it tomorrow. So stay tuned. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. Tune in next time. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do. And until then, peace out. Until tomorrow, everybody. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Blessed rest of your Lord's Day Sunday and have a wonderful, blessed, fabulous week ahead. Goodbye.